Hello friends, it's Miss Ann. Some of you know me as Mrs. Seiden. I'm a Durham Pub Public Schools occupational therapist. And today we're gonna to talk about tying our shoelaces. Tying shoelaces is really important. It's something you learn as a kid and you use it all the way into grown-up years. It's important because it helps to support your feet when your shoes are tied properly and for safety reasons. So you don't trip on your shoelaces or nobody steps on your shoelace and accidentally trips you. So let's get started. First, I wanna show you my black shoe with the black shoelaces. Sometimes when you're first starting to learn how to tie shoes, it can be really hard to see which shoelace goes where. So I'm gonna show you on my dark navy blue shoe with the white shoelaces, how to tie shoes. And there are different ways to do it. I'm gonna show you the way I learned. So I take my two shoelaces and pull them out straight, pull up tight <clears throat> by the tongue of the shoe and cross down here in the middle. Don't cross them way up here because they're too long and it gets awkward. So cross here in the middle and then tuck one through that little hole there and pull it down nice and tight. Then make one bunny ear, make sure there's a tail. Take the other lace, wrap it around the first one. Make sure you hold tight on that first loop. Then take your finger and push the shoelace through the the first part of that loop and pull it through so you have two bunny ears and pull down tight. Ta-da! Now my granddaughter Phoebe's going to show you how she does it with the loop-de-loop -loop method. So first I take the two strings and I this and I put this string down here a little like X cross thing up there and so I can't pull it as tight as Nana can but it still works and I take this and I make a loop with this one lace and I wrap it around and I tuck it through and I pull but if it if one of these tails just go through like this, it's okay because it would just mean that you could try again or that one of your loops are too big like this and the other one's just small. Good job, Phoebe. I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you have trouble with the first part, not staying down tight enough for you so if it gets a little loose. If you go around a second time, it will stay down nice and tight even if you let go. Another way to tie shoes is to make two bunny ears and then do the first part all over again. Just crisscross them and loop it through the little hole underneath and pull it down. 